Hey everyone, welcome to a let's play of Curious Expedition. This game is a roguelike uh, set in the late 19th century where we go exploring distant and dangerous lands and uh, attempt to be the uh, most famous person out of a group of already pretty famous people. Um, let's take a look at what we've got here. So we're going to start out by choosing a character of some pretty well-known names like Charles Darwin, Marie Curie, Richard Francis Burton. Let's see, who do we want to pick? We could go with random, but let's go with uh, Marie Curie, conducted pioneering research on radioactivity and first woman to win a Nobel Prize. So when she succeeds at, a, at an expedition, she uh, gets to choose from five different perks, whereas everyone else gets three. Um, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's do that. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor our most famous member? Well, of course that's going to be me. Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I'm afraid to tell you you are not the only candidate. Oh my. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. And we are going up against Charles Darwin. Harriet Tubman, Isabella Bird, and Frederick C. Sellis. Okay, uh, let's go with standard difficulty mode. Pretty tough, but manageable. So the very first thing that we see here is this is our first of six expeditions. Hopefully we will last all six. Um, uh, ten, I'm not 100% sure what this is. I think this might be fame, and this is how much money we've got to begin with. Um, everybody else has already picked their places, so we have to choose from Golden Jungle and, um, what is this, Indonesia, I guess? Or the Merciless Drylands, somewhere in Middle Russia, it looks like. Um, let us go with, let's go to the Drylands. So in the first expedition, we have kind of limited, we already start out with some goods. We don't have a lot of money, so we just have to make do with what we've got. Uh, after being too excited to sleep, I arrived at the docks. The crew had preparations left to do, so I sat on the pier and waited. A well-to-do foreigner named Sir Dare Elimaged introduced himself. He explained that he originated from the area of our upcoming expedition before moving to England with a crew. He had, meanwhile, developed a life here and requested I find his wife in his former village and escort her to London. Sure, why not? I accepted his request to find and return his wife. He nodded thankfully and wished us luck. And so this is our starting supplies. We've got some climbing gear, which uh, makes climbing through mountains easier. We've got some extra bullets uh, in case we have to fight our way through something. We have first aid kit in case somebody gets hurt. We have torches in case there's something that's dark. And chocolate rations, which uh, will help us, um, will, will help restore our sanity. So the way the game works is that as we travel, we slowly but surely lose sanity. And if we ever get down to zero sanity, bad things happen. And so we want to manage our supplies, so hopefully we that doesn't happen. So expedition one. We are randomly generating some some land. So in each area there's a golden pyramid and we are trying to find the golden pyramid and in the process we go and find other interesting things. My thoughts were focused on the forthcoming trek until we reached the land of our imminent adventure. The land lay open in front of us like an invitation to an adventure. Well, it is an invitation to adventure. Uh, let's see... This isn't desert, so I don't know if we need any extra water. Begin expedition. Actually, let's go ahead and do this anyway. We can always drop water if it turns out that we don't need it. Um, we could go and access the ship storage if there is something we wanted to leave behind, but I think we'll go ahead and go forward with this. Begin expedition. Thankfully, the affluent foreigner had indicated the location of his former village on our map. I was curious to see if we would find his beloved there. So let's take a quick look at what we got here. This is, this shows how close to our rivals are to reaching their expedition goal. They also just started, we're on day one. Um, we can wait without doing anything. 
We can abort an expedition. We can show our game settings. And right now we have exploration points to zero because we haven't explored anything. We can reveal anything up to two spaces away. Uh, here is our main character, Marie Curie. The dice here are used, as far as I know, it's mainly for combat. It's a couple of the things, but they're showing we have two dice, and this is the different things they can roll. Uh, these are the six faces. I believe that's how that works. Um, uh, toughness. Toughness regenerates after combat unless a wound becomes infected. Um, this shows how many items we can carry, and they show our special abilities or our quests. Um, we also have Brother Hezekiah here, who's a level one missionary. He has a green die with these different faces. Uh, he's tougher. He can carry one thing. He has two loyalty. Uh, that's not too bad. These are his traits. He has extra sanity, uh, which increases the sanity of our entire party. Uh, he can arrest for free in missions if we find another missionary. Kleptomania, he cannot resist the constant urge to steal things. That's probably going to bite us. And then uh, if we level him up, his sanity will go up. And then we have Hector the hunting dog. And we have Mr. Beddoes the donkey, who will help us carry three more things. So we can carry two objects, three objects, six objects. We have six, so we're not overloaded. If we're overloaded, it takes longer to... Um, it takes more sanity to go to each um, each square, and I did not actually mean to do that, but you can return to your ship and do stuff. So let's see. This is this is our map. This is all we have revealed, which is not much. There is something here in the mountains, but and we do have climbing gear, so we could get there. And then here's the village of that man's wife. Um, in addition, the golden pyramid that we're looking for, it shows up here, a compass that gives us a general idea of where it is. So we know it's to the northeast. So I'm kind of thinking, let's just make our way up to this native village here and see what's on the way. And we reveal the map as we travel. Nothing too exciting. Let's uh, just keep going a little bit more. So the game really becomes a lot of just resource management. Um, we will... Let's see, our sanity is down a little bit, so let's eat some chocolate rations. Which restores 10 of our sanity. And let's go ahead and head into this village right here. We entered a native village. These villagers looked like fearless and intimidating warriors. As we approached the village, we were immediately approached by a native. She introduced herself as Lixokut, and it transpired that she was the wife we were asked to escort back to London. Without further ado, she happily joined our trek and began to show us around the village. So standing is um, our reputation with the local... Um, the locals of the area and good standing is good it means that they'll be more likely to help us bad standing means that they're more likely to attack us so yay we have positive standing we are guided into the village by a crowd of cheering kids the natives seem to have heard pleasant things about us that's good uh, let's uh, rest in the village get some of our sanity back I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. The people of the tribe were celebrating the maturation of one of the boys. He looked very young. He had to excel at complex dancing. They tried to tease me into participating in the ritual to prove my worth. So I can participate, uh, which means that I would have to make a skill check and come up with some of these. I don't know exactly what this represents, but I don't have any red dice, and I don't have any dice that... Uh, that matches the symbol, so I have no chance of succeeding. So I'm going to have to decline their invitation. I can see them lose respect for me. Mm. So our standing is now down to one. But the night was 
quiet and peaceful. The next morning, I was awoken by a group of native children, surely poking fun at this strange foreign fellow, or lass, as the case may be. Any prior tension was beginning to abate. They remained kind, and we felt like special guests in the settlement. So we could recruit extra help, but we already just got a new person because we picked up that person's wife. We could trade. I don't know if we've got anything worth trading right now. So, well, let's see what they have to trade. So, we could get some jewels. We could get some food. That might be worth it to try to trade some food. Do they have any extra, any interest in bullets? Because I suspect we will not be running into any dangers. Hopefully we won't have to run into any fights in this first expedition. Uh, we could pick up a voodoo doll. Native trinket. A uh, spear. Eh, I would just really like some food. Let's see. So if we trade three bullets, we can get two food. Hmm. Uh, if you make the deal in their favor, sometimes they'll give you bonus standing, but... Uh, yeah, they don't seem to want water. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and trade three bullets for two food. Deal. I reached a deal with the natives. Uh, we've already rested. I don't really want to recruit or trade, so let's go and leave. In a heartbreaking ceremony, Le Kexokut said farewell to her tribe. As we moved on, she mentioned that she would like to visit a holy shrine in the vicinity to receive a blessing for her travels. She marked the location of the shrine on her map. That's very far out of our way, I think. Although, it does seem to be in the direction of our pyramid, so sure, why not? Let's head that way. When you travel, it'll show you how much sanity it'll, uh, it'll cost to go in that direction. So... Oh. Oh, and the mangoes go bad after a while, so let's go ahead and eat those. Oh, that's too bad. I actually forgot about that. Okay. So let's go ahead and visit the shrine. Examine shrine. Oh, I actually forgot to look at our new, new person. So she is a native shaman. She's tough. She can carry two items herself. So I think we're now up to two, five... Eight, so we can actually carry more stuff now. She's fairly loyal. She does not use up character slots. Oh, so we could have gotten an extra person anyway. But she's superstitious. She suffers from an irrational fear of what is unknown or mysterious. So we need to be careful about... Um, we need to be careful about looting, uh, like taking things from shrines and stuff, because she might uh, be unhappy about it. Which is unfortunate, because we have a kleptomaniac in the group, so he might grab stuff anyway. Also, it looks like we've got some hyenas nearby that might attack us, so I have to be careful. A large building loomed in front of us. It was a bold testament to the power of the creators. A circle of dried-up blood had been drawn around the whole structure as a warning for anybody that dared enter. The structure showed some long cracks, but it seemed secure enough to explore. Are you feeling okay? So she wanted to come here and get a blessing, so let's go ahead and enter the shrine. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. She said, is that treasure on the altar? Oh, please don't steal the treasure. Okay, so there is a golden mask. Uh, it, we can use it. If we were to take it and we uh, get back, we can trade it for either fame or we can trade it for gold. But given that we have a superstitious shaman with us, and I do not want to go and get... Oh, our, neg our standing is already negative for some reason. I didn't notice what made it negative, but uh, we're going to go ahead and leave that behind just in case. We decided that it was better to leave the shrine undisturbed and hurry at our departure. That seems like a good idea to me. And it looks like our pyramid might be this way. So let's go that way. 
And there's another question mark. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some chocolate. And get a little closer. Oh, so the other thing is, uh, since our view distance is two, we can actually um, see what kind of special item this is. But this is the pyramid that we're looking for. So we will just travel there. And this shows that um, our competition has not actually reached their pyramids yet. So we'll be the first ones there. The goal is presented to us in the form of a pyramid made of gold. We have overcome all events to achieve success. Yay! After all this hardship, extraordinary pride overcame me. I knew the name Marie Curie would be forever remembered. All right, so we succeeded on our first expedition. Uh, I got 360 fame. So they're throwing a big celebration for us. And we get to choose one of five perks. Receive an additional support die. Reduced movement cost in thick jungle. Max sanity plus 20, which is really good. Bullet quarter. Eagle eye. Increased viewing distance. I'm going to go for more max sanity. So... And then this shows all of our competition and how much fame they returned with. Uh, Darwin and Harriet Tubman both did very well. Uh, did a little bit better than we did this first time. We returned with no treasures, so we can't... Uh, we have nothing to auction, unfortunately. So, yep, we're just stuck with what we had. So now we can go to the jungle. Or we can go to the desert. Let's uh, let's try the desert. So we escorted a villager to London. Full of anticipation, I made haste and arrived at the docks. We had little time before the ship would be ready, so I imagined what lay beyond the the horizon. Sir Dare returned to the harbor, eagerly awaiting news of his beloved. He was overjoyed when he saw her on her ship. Shortly after, the two fell into each other's arms in a loving embrace. The couple thanked me for the reunion before they happily left their seed. Wow. They gave us a hundred funds. We received new funds as a token of gratitude. The merchant approached me with a request. He was a collector of sort. And promised to compensate me favorably for any instruments we returned. Retrieved. Okay, so we'll try to get some instruments. The trainer was heartened by my acceptance of his request. He wished to select an, a safe journey. After the uh, efforts of my past expeditions, I was delighted as more folk started to show an interest in our ship. Who do I want to recruit? An artist or an artist? Uh, and neither one of them have any negative traits, so let's go with Bernard Navarre, Navarra, the artist. Sure. We can benefit from a specialist such as Navarre on the team. I rejoiced as the ship was prepared for departure. So we can increase the amount of stuff that our animals carry, or we can purchase equipment. Uh, our artists come with canvas, which is good. Uh, we really need um, food, but let's go ahead and let's see. Rope, climbing gear, machete, and snowshoes. I don't know if any of these are going to be useful in the desert. So let's just grab a couple more shovels, a couple more torches. Um, let's grab, unfortunately, the only, uh, thing that they're give, offering us to increase sanity is the liquor. So, yeah, I guess we will pick up some of those. And that leaves us with 80 funds left over. Can we get a campsite? Hmm. I don't know if that's worth it. We have a lot of different things. I will probably ditch the camp climbing gear, uh, but we will need water where we're going. Um, first aid kit will be valuable too. Uh, let's just go and do two more, two more, and two more. Okay, we're good. Just in time as our vessel was prepared to put out to sea. So let's go. Expedition two. So I have only played this uh, once or twice before streaming, and uh, I have not done very well. 
I have set off a volcano and uh, burnt an entire island to the ground. So, The journey across the ocean brought many wondrous sightings of marine life before we reached, reached the land of our imminent adventure. I knew this place held something special for us. Okay, well, we definitely need water because we're going to the desert. Um, I also want to get rid of this climbing gear. And... Yeah, I guess that'll be it. So we're, we've got eight items worth of stuff. Begin expedition. We can carry two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're already overburdened. Let's see what else we can get rid of. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of bullets. Uh, hmm. Bullets. Let's get rid of the chocolate. Okay, so now we're good, and uh, or better anyway. Uh, the compass is telling us that we need to go somewhere between north and south. So let's just kind of make our way to the east. Uh, now you'll see that some of these things actually require us to use up water because we're going through the desert. So let's just uh, start our expedition. Hmm. Let's just get close to see what this is. It's a native village. Ah, and we got an exploration point. Okay, the compass is still pointing us to the northeast, so let's go visit this village. Our standing is zero, so we should be okay here. The natives were apparently a group of skilled scouts. We entered the settlement of a nomadic tribe. We were not the only visitors to the village. A wa wandering trader and self-proclaimed beastmaster had displayed a few mysteriously covered crates. Natives observed us with intrigue. They were kind and offered us what they could. Let's talk to the beastmaster. This trader seemed to roam the area to catch some of the wild local wildlife. He welcomed us and presented his selection of beasts locked away from massive wooden cages. Uh, we don't have any of these things, so... Let's uh, go ahead and rest. This night, the villagers held some sort of ceremony and politely offered us a very strong alcoholic beverage. Uh, I don't see that we're in a point to refuse, so... We did not want to offend the natives, so drank the beverage. It tasted like spicy coconut, and the evening became even more enjoyable, so we gained standing and sanity. Uh, so our artist can actually paint a native, so let's go ahead and do that too. We inquired if anyone was willing to have a portrait created of their likeness. The native gladly accepted our offer, so Bernard Navarre skillfully painted a portrait of the native child. Then we're going to sleep. Ah, uh, why did we lose standing? Our extended presence was perceived well by the natives. They remained courteous and gestured for us to find comfort in their settlement. Apparently we lost standing because it seems my undergarments shocked them. Let's go and see if we can trade. Because I think we've got too many items now. Uh, which is the downside to bringing an artist is we've got to have a slot for canvas and we've got to have a slot for paintings. But uh, let's see. If I trade you bullets... We should also be on the lookout for instruments. Is this? It's a horn flute. That's what he asked us to look for. Um, let's see. Eh, maybe we could sell our shovels. That would also give us a standing. Bullets and shovels. We get a horn. Ugh. Would really like some food. Tell you what, let's take two with the idea that we'll just eat it right away. Um, one, and then that'll still give us standing. So let's do that. I settled on a trade with the natives, and our standing is back up to zero. So let's go ahead and leave. Okay, and we've got experience. So we can either level our missionary up, who will give us more sanity, or our artist, who... It increases the quality and value of his created paintings. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and eat these mangoes. So we are no longer overburdened. 
Okay, the compass is telling us we need to go... Wow, somewhere between northwest and southeast, so... Let's push ahead, I guess. We could go over here to the cactus forest. Eh, let's see what's over here. Stone Circle. Let's go visit it. came across a stone circle that was obviously man-made. There are inscriptions painted on each rock. Perhaps they formed a type of map. Let's see. I would like to reveal camp points. Hmm. Didn't really tell us anything close by. Yeah, it looks like the compass is saying we basically want to go east-ish, but uh, let's go here. Question mark up here. Uh, it seems unlikely that's the direction we actually want to go, though. So let's split the difference and go this way. Hmm. Okay, compass is unsure, so let's uh, come by here. There's an old camp. Let's go ahead and drink some whiskey to get some of our sanity back. Unfortunately, we just made our missionary a uh, alcoholic. Although, he got experience, so we'll promote him. So he's just an extra good alcoholic now. And we will explore our campsite. We approached an old campsite. There were remains of what seemed to be a failed expedition that must have been here for a long time. Skeletal remains of what must have been an Italian explorer that stared at us through cracked eye sockets. The camp reeked. Let's search it. So, to surprise, one of the rotten crates still had some valuable equipment. Oh, so we can get food cans. Oh, yes. I want some food cans. Uh, and... Unfortunately, I really want to get rid of the alcohol, but now that we have an alcoholic, we kind of need it. So let's leave the medical kit behind and hope that we don't need it. Okay, it looks like the compass is pointing us to the north-ish, and there are some giant birds in our way, but nothing we can do about that right this second. So we've got a tomb over here to the northwest. We have something over here to the northeast. I think we're going to have to head over there. Uh-oh. We can attack the giant bird. Or we can just try to escape it. I kind of favor that, but... Oh, it's our pyramid. Maybe we can avoid him. And we can make it to the... Yay! We avoided the giant bird. Majestic golden pyramid rose above its environment. Resourcefulness begets success. Enter the pyramid. All right. Fortune and glory. So our second expedition was, uh, was successful. Okay, this time we can pick protector. Receive an additional defense die. Explosion ex expert. Black market. Access more gear when equipping your track. Increase sanity gain while resting in nature. Or reduced movement cost in thick jungle. Let's pick that one up. Okay. So, yep, we're still getting beat by Charles Darwin and Harriet Tubman. What happened to Frederick Courtney Sellis? Looks like he has not been doing very well. But let's see, we have a painting collection, which we can either give up for, we can either gift it for 10 fame, or we can sell it for 5 funds. Or we can keep it for later. Let's go ahead and gift it. So that gets us a few more fame points. And we are on to our next expedition, the Black Arctic or the Unforgiving Arctic, or Cursed Jungle. 
Well, I just picked up a bonus for the jungle, so let's do that. Um, after a good night's rest, I made my way to the docks. We had little time before the ship would be ready, so I skimmed some stones on the water. The collector was eager to look upon the instruments we brought back, when we brought back this horn flute. He purchased the flute from us for 25 funds. That's all. A trader politely asked for my attention. He tasked me to acquire a mysterious idol that was said to be located in a native settlement in the area of our upcoming expedition. He guaranteed to reward us handsomely if we were able to return with it. Let's accept. My reputation was still meager, but I noticed a mild interest in our exploits. Who did I want to recruit? I can get a Persian translator who will help us with our standing. I can get a soldier who's a whiskey expert and an alcoholic. Now let's go with the translator. Captain informed me that our vessel had reached maximum cabin capacity. I would need to dismiss someone if we wanted to set sail. So we have our new Persian translator. We have our artist. Brother Ezekiel. Um, or Mr. Beddoes, our donkey. Or Hector, our hunting dog. You know what? I like the artist, but... Um, and he's really loyal too but it does require an extra two capacity to carry all the stuff that he's lugs around so I'm gonna get rid of him unfortunately his eyes filled with grief as he packed his belongings and disembarked the ship that's sad but let's see we'll move on so I am gonna get some chocolate uh, and I'm spending way too much money let's see got some binoculars a campsite um Actually, we have plenty of food, don't we? Uh, okay, so we've got torches. We're doing the jungle, so we need machetes this time to uh, cut through stuff in the jungle. Um, I'll probably ditch this. I don't know if I'm going to bring the climbing gear with us this time. Uh, we will not need the canvases. Uh, we've got plenty of torches. Uh, maybe some rope. Yep. And let's set sail. I'm still, I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing, so I don't know which things we really need. Just seems like rope and torches uh, would be helpful. And the one thing I've learned from my uh, little bit of play before this is that you do not want to run out of food. Another sea shanty, and one might jump overboard, but thankfully the shoreline rose in the morning mist, and I knew this place held something special for us. Okay, so we are going to get rid of the canvases. We're going to get rid of the chocolate. Uh, I do not think we need water on this one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six items. Uh, let's begin. And we can carry two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, what do we got here? Obtain idol. Yep. Alcoholic, kleptomaniac, and nothing negative here. So, okay, let's let's uh, make our way. And it looks like we want to go southwestish. Okay, that's interesting. Since that looks like most of the map is to the uh, east, I would say we want to go somewhere west. Hmm. Let's make our way down here. Uh, let's check this guy down here out. What is this? It's a mission. Ah, and we can rest in the mission for free because we have our holy man. We entered a mission and were greeted by an old missionary. He was visibly relieved to see some new faces, and he had, as he had been alone for what seemed like an eternity, he greeted Brother Ezekiel warmly and assured us we were welcome to sleep within the safety of his walls at any time. So let's rest. He articulated his meaning of an undiscovered region with considerable volcanic activity. However, legends suggest an unusually high frequency of shrines and treasures could be found there. As the remainder of the evening was uneventful, we drifted off to sleep. So plus 30 day uh, sanity. Uh, let's see. Uh, what he has to trade. I think we're good. So let's go and leave. Shook hands and he blessed our journey. Yay. 
a world discovered. I'm not sure what that means. Um, but let's see, where's the compass telling us to go? Somewhere between northeast and west. It's not very helpful, but let's go and start using a machete to cut through here. Now between northwest and northeast and southwest. Okay. Go southeast. And what's this that we just found? Trading caravan. I haven't seen one of these. Perch trader. Wandering trails tradesman has pitched up camp here. The colorfully dressed trader had a lot of valuable goods to offer. Most of them seem to be the remains of other failed expeditions. That's grim. Proudly presented us with a selection of his wares. We could not help think that he was hiding something from us. Okay, so we have a temple pendulum, a shrine pendulum, spears, climbing gear, an elephant tusk. Uh, let's see. We really don't have anything that I don't, I don't... I'm not sure if he'd be interested in any of this stuff, but let's see. Is there any of these rare things that he is willing to... Oh, he likes alcohol. Okay, let's see. So if we give him two things of whiskey, he'll give us this temple pendulum. I'll see a shrine pendulum, a peculiar artifact which reacts when being close to a shrine, and this one is close to a blessings temple. <coughs> hmm. Let's get the uh, shrine one. And... Sextant. Nah, no, sextant's way too expensive. So let's just go ahead and make that deal. Trader seemed expectant regarding our possible return as yet another failed expedition to raid his camp. What's that? Zombie pygmies. Okay, we need to be careful of them. Uh, it's telling us we need to go to the southeast some more, so... Ugh. I do not want to deal with zombie pygmies. New region discovered. What is this? A shaman hut. Oh, we got some panthers. Oh, and this guy up here is, uh, will screw up our compass. So, I don't actually want to be going there. Uh, the compass is now telling us we do want to go somewhere between northwest and south. This is the wrong way. But let's go ahead and check the hut anyway. We entered a strange-looking hut. It was dark and damp inside, with all types of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. Native shaman approached us with a wild-eyed stare as he chewed on some leaves. Let's ask for a cleansing. He was able to, willing to offer his services, but he demanded remuneration up front. Uh, oh. A tome page of stuff. We get voodoo dolls or mushrooms. Mini puppets. This is spooky. Drums. Shrine pendulum is uh, shaking. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, I don't know if I want any of this stuff. So him giving us a cleansing is the same thing as us trading. Okay, that's weird. Nah, let's uh, let's just investigate down here. Man, it's like this panther is chasing us. Uh, let's eat some food. Not in this reality. Oh, they won't actually eat it. Ask me again when I'm starving. How about some alcohol? Let there be much rejoicing. Got increased uh, loyalty from our alcoholic. Uh oh, looks like a. Uh, oh, what is this symbol? That we need rope? Yep, we need rope to go through swamps. I did not know that either. What is this? It's a shipwreck. With zombie pygmies. Uh, and the 
problem is we only have two more ropes. I can't go there and get through here as well, so I think we're gonna have to bypass it. And looks like the zombie pygmies are after us. So let's keep going. Do you guys eat food cans now? I'm starting to get sick of these. You haven't even eaten any. Well, hardly. Oh, but we can level them up. Okay. The map is still telling us there. The compass is tell, still telling us to go south. I don't see anything down here, though. Uh, it's telling us to go somewhere between northwest and south. We might be getting confused by this thing, though. Um, shoot. It's definitely not telling us to go east. Okay. And we're running out of food. Okay, thank God. And here we go. We might go insane on the way, though. Oh, no! We ran out of sanity. The ongoing physical stress numbed our senses and led to negligent pathfinding. Brother Hezekiah stepped into a spear trap. It looked old and rotten. The spears were cut coated in dark mud. The wound was surely infected. Well, that's awful. Luckily, we are where we wanted to get to. So we have overcome these lands. And we have finished our third expedition. Anyway, so uh, to finish an entire like game, it's six expeditions, and this is the first three of these. Um, I think in this case I'll take be able to carry an extra two items, since that seems to be a limiting factor. Um, but this is kind of how the game is played. As you go, you unlock new characters. Um, I'm pretty sure that we did not have access to all these different characters that we are competing with, so... Uh, different characters have different abilities, so um, yeah, it's a seems like a pretty cool game if you like roguelikes, and uh, it's in a setting that there aren't a lot of games in, so uh, if you like that kind of thing, you should definitely check this out. So this has been The Curious Expedition. Um, I believe you can get it on Steam. Um, in fact, I know you can get it on Steam. It uh, right now it runs somewhere between like 15 to 20 bucks, so um, I would definitely say it's worth picking up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, um, this uh, Let's Try. Uh, yeah, it's been fun. So uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. See you soon.